it, it's interesting looking at all of this, Senator Kevin Kramer of North Dakota, because to the senator's point, Senator Shane's point, there is support for more help for small business, but it's the devil is going to be in the details of getting this $250 billion through if, if, if Congress can't quickly come together and meet. You can't do it virtually, right? No, that's correct, Neil. And one of the things that's happening, of course, is you find Secretary Mnuchin, who was in, integral in, in um, you know, negotiating this entire CARES package, especially this portion of the Paycheck Protection Program and the other, uh, you know, economic parts of it. But one thing we know for sure is that the $350 billion for Paycheck Protection isn't enough. It's a wildly popular program. Senator Shaheen is exactly right. She was an important part of negotiating that, which is why it's the first chapter of the 880-page bill, and it's also why it's running out of money so quickly. So we know that it works. We know it's in high demand, and I think we ought to put another $250 billion in it immediately, which we can do with a simple voice vote. And the details, as you speak of, are things that, that we ought to try to work on, but it's kind of difficult to do that when we're not all together. I don't know what the rules are. The Senate and, and Senator Sheen was trying to, you know, remind folks that uh, these provisions to protect particularly small businesses and not big businesses a concern she and I know you right. had as well, uh, that it might be stymied by rules uh, that it's got to be unanimous. And if one person, we certainly know when Congressman Massey in the House on the original stimulus measure right. stops that, people have to come in physically to, to Congress to do it, right? No, that's exactly correct, Neil, which is why we ought to do the simplest thing that we can do, which is pass another, you know, appropriate another $250 billion without any strings attached. Now, I'd love to see some changes. I, I share Jean's concern for the mom and pops, as she called them, sole proprietorships, uh, self-employed. It took an extra week to get the rules written for that particular uh, part of the business community, which means that they lost out on the first week of the loans going out. But but that's been corrected now. The rules are in place. Another $250 billion that is that is without bias, I think, would be the best way for our community banks to distribute this money. But we can do that with a simple vote tomorrow. All right. Senator, thank you very much. My apology to both you and, and, and Senator Shin for the relative short nature of this.